And they've shown decently in science that it actually increases the matter and the activation of the brain that allows for empathy and regulation. When you hear an explanation about how to stimulate or how to relax the vagus nerve, like you've just given, people love a little bit of science to support whatever like woo-woo, so-called woo-woo claims that they're making. How would someone use that on a practical level? Is that like a, a morning routine thing? Is that like a sitting on the toilet thing? Where do you where do you implement that into your day? Or how do you personally implement something like that into your day? Yeah, so great, great point. In, in the morning, I'll meditate for an hour. Uh, and I do that to optimize prefrontal cortex. That's the logical brain. They've shown decently in science that when we meditate, it actually increases the uh, matter and the activation of, of the brain that allows for empathy and regulation. So I'll always meditate every morning. I say meditation is like brushing your teeth. Like you wouldn't leave your home with smelly breath. You'd be like, the people are like, oh. So meditation is like brushing your brain. Uh, with the breath, I will create a 10 to 20 minute practice either at lunchtime or perhaps in the morning or afternoon. But every day, essentially, I get to uh, a block of a 10 to 20 minute breath practice. And what I've learned is I combine many of them to get the benefits. So I will combine, you've had Patrick McKellen on, uh, I will combine a bit of oxygen advantage of reducing my breathing. And that actually speaks to in a meeting, what can they do? Pausing on the out breath. It seems really trivial. Like if they're going, if somebody's moving into a panic response, one of the best things they can do if they're pause, one, two, pause, one, two, three. So that's subtle. People won't necessarily notice because it's not like you're going, just pausing with the breath. Uh, another example of breath that you can use very subtly is box breathing. It's what the Navy SEALs use. We well, see, I've had like um, CEOs and stuff I've taught this to. They're just casually in their meeting and they're like breathing in, two, three. They pause the breath, two, three, breathing out, two, three, pause, two, three. And you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. So my practice can have breathe light, it can have a bit of Wim Hof, and it can also have one of my favorites, which is coherence breathing. This was uh, designed by the Heart Math Institute, and they've shown in studies over six to nine weeks, a decrease in anxiety by 46%, decrease in depression by 51%, because it comes back to the vagus nerve, uh, it improves vagal tone. So what we want to do a, a, as, a, as a high performer is think of vagal tone as like the responsiveness of a muscle to stress or, or uh, resistance. The more tone the vagus nerve has, the more resilience we have to stress, whether that's stressful thinking, stressful circumstance, or stress on the body.